What's up guys? I came to show y'all all these trucks. Look at, well, this video ain't gonna be about this, but look at all of these trucks, man. This is ridiculous. We out here um, outside of Fort Polk. Outside of Fort Polk or Fort Johnson, whatever one you wanna call it. And there's so many trucks, you can't even really tell. You just see the front trucks. You can't really tell how many trucks is out here. But it's so many trucks. I'm gonna walk down the line just so you can see. Really crazy, and this truck right here is, I love this truck. That's a nice truck. It's a nice truck, and I like what he's carrying. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a tank or something? But well, you can't see it yet, but. Yeah, I don't know if that's a tank or what. But I love his setup, though. I was walking around yesterday looking at everybody's setup because, you know, I'm, I'm looking into getting my own setup and stuff. So, you know, truck and trailer. Looking at all the different, uh, looking at the RGNs and the step decks. They got three different axles on the trailer, four different axles on the trailers and stuff like that. But, no, it's real, it's, it's cool, man. Look at it. Look at all these trucks, man. It's really crazy. I can't even, I can't even really show you all of it. But, um, all right, what this video is about is, well, you see the title in the thumbnail, so you know what this video is about. But um, I'm gonna pull my phone out because it's amazing to me how people get in your comment section and they comment in a way like they really know shit. And then you got people that that's leased on to the same company that you leased on to that uh, I don't know who the fuck they think they are. They think that they big shit, you know, um, Apparently what I'm doing is illegal and I'm a liability to the company and stuff like that, right? All right, so I went online, you know, fmcsa.gov. So it's DOT. Uh, this, this come from DOT. Somebody, well, not somebody, a lot of people, couple different people, they always telling me how with these military loads, and these Humvees that I've, that I've had that I have to put four different securements on, their, on one Humvee. So one Humvee, this is not a Humvee, but let's say this is a Humvee. They said I'm supposed to have one chain and binder per wheel. So I'm supposed to tie down one chain and binder on the left side, right side, front, left side, right side. That's wrong. FC, FMCSA, the DOT stuff, don't say that at all. According to the FMCSA, you use one tie down for items that are five feet or less in length and weigh 1,100 pounds or less. You use two tie downs for items that are five feet or less in length and weigh more than 100, 1,100 pounds. All right? That's what I've been having on my truck. I've been having Humvees that weigh 8,000 pounds each. I asked, the, I asked the guys before I picked the loads up how much these Humvees weigh, how much these trailers weigh. Humvees weigh 8,000 pounds. So with 8,000 pounds, all you need is two tie downs for items that are five feet or less in length and weigh more than 1,100 pounds, all right? For items that are longer than five feet, but no longer than 10 feet, regardless of the weight. Or oh, that's, 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 they're telling you right there that the Humvees that I carry, they may be over five feet long, but they're not longer than 10 feet. Regardless of weight, you still use two uh, securement devices. You know, two chains, two binders, front, back, whatever. It also says, as y'all can see, for items longer than 10 feet, add one tie down for every 10 foot increment or part thereof. Items weighing 10,000 pounds or more require tie downs at all four corners. Wheeled or tracked vehicles over 10,000 pounds also require four direct anchor tie downs and tightening devices. So what that tells you is for Humvees that weigh less than 10,000 pounds, you do not have to put four different 
uh, anchor points on those Humvees. That is wrong. Everybody that comments on my videos, you are fucking wrong. Stop commenting shit when you don't know what you're talking about. Stop it. And for um, for I got I got something else. Unrated and unmarked anchor points. FMCSA cargo securement rules do not require, do not require rating and marking of anchor points. While the agency encourages manufacturers to rate and mark anchor points, the rules do not include a requirement for ratings and markings. So, for the person at CRST that feels that, you know, thinks he's big shit, you know, they gave him some, some form of like power or whatever, and he trying to, you know, he's stroking his ego on YouTube, you know, don't comment on my videos no more. Please don't comment on my videos. You don't know what the fuck you talking about either. Like I'm really, I'm really pissed off and I, I hate that I have to get to this point. Please excuse my language because it's really not me. You know, I've, I've been working on myself a lot. You know, I'm, I'm trying to elevate in life. I'm trying to progress. I stay in my own lane. I don't mess with nobody or nothing. But then you have people that get on this social media app and they think that they, for one, they think they better than you. And they think that they they know everything. You don't know shit just because they've been trucking for 60 years, bro. Go find you a new hobby. Like damn. Please stay up off my shit if you don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you know what you're talking about, bring me facts. If, for, for one, contact me properly. Bring me facts, and we go from there. Cause I don't want to be wrong about anything. Safety is my biggest concern. If I'm if I'm out here securing something wrong, like literally securing something wrong, let me know. Properly contact me and let me know. And instead of you getting under my YouTube videos and trying trying to press, trying to push your weight around and shit, don't do that. For one, it looks tacky as fuck. You know, like who gave this man power? Who put this man on the safety committee, safety board, whatever the fuck? Like, please stop, because you don't know what you're talking about. I just, I just provided facts. DOT regulations, the DOT rules come from the FMCSA. Leave me alone. Yo, be before I close this video, I want to show y'all the ANTP-53. This is what I worked on when I was in the Army. This is a radar system. So it's, it's basically an LMTV truck, but it has a radar system on the back. I don't know if y'all can see it. That, that thing raises up. It raises up and it... It goes a circle, in a, around and around in a circle like this. It's real cool, actually. So that's what I worked on when I was in the army. I think that's real cool that I see it out here. And also, like, if you see, it's over 10,000 pounds. So one, two, and everybody secures differently and it, everybody don't know the regulations. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is secure, right? You know? Um, I don't know if this weighs over 8,000 pounds or not. It's a Humvee, but it's a different type of Humvee, so it may weigh over 10,000 pounds. He also has four anchor points on it. But, man, so many trucks, so many trucks. It's crazy. It's Watts, Two Rock. I'm out. Cause all black. Mm -hmm. Game untapped, game intact. Mm -hmm.